my voice is cracking because I'm getting emotional as usual. Um, motherhood is tough and uh, I'm here for it. I love it and I love my son so much that it hurts, but it is tough. <laughs> channel it is Stella the light and today I'm going to be talking about things that I have gotten over the past nine months that just make sense so I have a nine month old now these are just things that I use day to day that are like I am so glad that I got this just things that are useful things that will help make life a little bit easier things that they will enjoy and you will enjoy I am actually currently sitting at my mom's house my mom is watching Icarus downstairs right now for me while I film this um, and I'm actually sitting in one of my old bedrooms. So I've actually, we all have switched around bedrooms at my mom's house like several times. So I was in here when I was younger. Bunk beds were right over here with first me and my older sister, Danielle, then me and my little sister. Um, and then I also think I stayed in here with two beds, I would say, with someone. We have switched around growing up so much. So anyways, my mom is also currently getting like a pool in her backyard. So if there's anything loud going on, I'm so sorry. But without further ado, let me start into the video. So the first thing that I have on my list is the sticky and spinny toys. So there was one that we had from Damon's sister. She let us use it and Icarus is still to this day obsessed with it. He's been obsessed with it since he figured out how it worked. He always loved watching it. You stick them right on the windows and they just spin and twirl. And then there's these other ones that I got that just stick on. He likes taking them off, chewing on them. All different things and they are timeless so he has liked them from when he was younger than nine months and he is going to continue to play with them um, I actually saw them in another YouTube video and the kid was I want to say like two years old so they kind of never get old they're always fun to play with stick on windows play games with or whatever they're good for in the car they're good for on the go they stick to really anything anything that is like ceramic tile glass windows anything like that they will stick to all right, next up is my Wood and Hearts uh, little indoor jungle gym thing that I got. This is a godsend. If I could recommend anything, if your child is active and likes climbing, get this. It's like a little mini playground at your house, basically. You can put it inside. I think it's going to be super helpful for when winter comes and he needs something to do and he just loves to climb. You can set it up all different ways. All three parts come, uh, come apart. Um, it was so easy to put together. Just, I just think it's going to be really great and kind of, again, another time is staying at list up until age six is what is recommended. So anyways, winter is approaching here and I think that is just going to be so helpful and Icarus already loves it. Next up, I got these containers off of Amazon. They're the brand Sand. I think I'm saying that right. They are just the coolest containers and have been so convenient since I got them. Um, not only for Icarus's food, I mainly use them for his food because they're smaller, they're cute, they're very easy to carry, so easy to clean. They're leak proof, they're non-BPA, they are bake safe, which is really awesome. So basically they're just like a do it all. And it's really great because they're leak proof. So when I package them up and just throw them in my bag, I don't have to worry about them leaking, which is something that literally every container that I've ever had has always just leaked. So this is a leak-proof container completely. No microplastics leach from it. Um, it's just really safe and really effective. They're just great, great to have on hand, no matter if you're packing kids' lunches, your lunch, you know, good for adults, great for babies. Next up is our playpen that we have. So we have this playpen, we used it in Oregon and then we have it at home as well. It has been such a godsend for me to just get peace of mind to set him in there real quick so I can go to the bathroom, so I can put together lunch real quick, or I don't want him to fall down the steps, tip something over, get into something, choke on something. It's just a safe space. You can bring it outside or inside. They're very easy to bring in and out of the house, which is really great. Um, like outside, you can put a shade over it and it's really nice. It's like just this little oasis for them. He's totally content in there. You can put toys in there. It's big enough. You can climb in and sit and hang out with them. Just a really great safe space for your baby. I'm not saying like stick your baby in there for hours at a time, but 
if you need some time to do some things. And Icarus is very self-sufficient in that if he is content and occupied, he kind of vibes on his own and he does best when he's vibing on his own. He's not like big on being overstimulated. He's an active baby, but he doesn't like a lot of things in his face and a lot of, I don't know any babies that do, I guess. But anyways, so he's just loves being in there to play with his little toys sometimes or to just hang out. Um, just a super content little place for the baby to have. Next up is my Vava baby camera. I have gone through three different baby cameras and I have hated all of them for all different reasons. Some of them are Wi-Fi, so it's glitchy. Some of them don't have a monitor, so you have to use an app on your phone. Don't do that, it's total nonsense. The battery dying too quickly, um, connection being poor, just irritating. The most irritating things where I just want to be able to plug this camera in, turn the monitor on, and be done with it. And that is what the Vava camera is. It's like this nice, sleek LCD monitor. It's super crisp quality. You literally plug it in and it connects on its own. There's no download. There's no connection, troubleshooting, comparing. It just does it and I can unplug it and plug it in anywhere around the house that I need to. His crib, the playroom, outside, inside. It was great in the bus when I put him down for a nap and I needed to go outside. I could keep such a close eye. Um, the settings are all really easy to use. Just a, an amazing, absolutely amazing camera. I cannot speak enough on how good. It is a little bit pricier than the other two monitors that I got and then the one monitor. The one monitor that I got was an, a collaboration that I did. I ended up really hating that. One and I didn't even go through with the collaboration because it sucked that bad. Um, but it's a little bit more pricey than those, but well, well worth it. The battery stays on for so long, which is a, a god's. I mean, do you want your battery dying in the middle of trying to watch a baby? So the Baba camera, absolutely amazing. They also have other colors, and I almost got the light green color. They have green, pink, and blue, and then white, but I ended up just getting the white because it matched the bus better, and I don't know, I just wanted the white. Um, next up are these diaper mats. I got these when he was born. They were great for him to lay on. I don't even know if they're considered diaper mats. They're just like these little mats that you can easy, easily clean. So when he was drooling a lot and spitting up a lot, I would lay them down on the carpet, on the um, hard tile floor, anywhere. And it was just a great place for him to hang out. Changing diapers on there, amazing, because you can get poop everywhere and you just wipe that thing down. Um, the colors are very aesthetically pleasing. They could move all around. I never was really into like the diaper changing table. A little bit, I guess, but really because he's so long ago now, I just use the mats. I literally have a mat. I had a mat in the bus that I would move all around and then now at home, I just move it all around <laughs> at the house. Okay, and the last thing that I have on my list is used stand-up toys. So I say used because so many people have them, but then once your baby learns to walk, you're done with them. So it's like they learn to stand up on their own and walk within a six month period usually. So you really only use these toys for like six months and then they're over them because they wanna walk and play and run and do their thing. So these stand-up toys off of Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, or any used toy place that you can find, um, there's hundreds of them and they are like 30 to $100 and on Marketplace they're like five to $25 usually. There's so many to choose from. They really promote them to stand up on their own. I am not for the um, sit in rolly walker things. I know it's a personal choice, but I don't like to put him in things too often. He loves his jolly jumper, which is I guess another must have. But the jolly jumper, he's moving, he was bouncing. So yes, just great, great for mobility, great for them learning their balance and helping them to stand up, sit down. Um, I just really have enjoyed them and getting them used has been great. I don't think that I can think of anything else. If I do, then I'll just pop it in here at the very end of the video. Oh, I also wanted to say one last thing. I recently posted something on Instagram about like a motherhood struggle that I was having and I just wanted to say thank you. I wanted to say thank you to anybody watching this. You probably follow me on Instagram if you're following me on here and I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being there for me, basically. Um, I have a very supportive family and a very supportive partner, but at the end of the day, being able to go online and just make myself vulnerable with you guys and share and having so many of you reach back out and relate to me and say, I understand you, I see you, I'm here for you, do you need anything? 
um, I'm feeling the same way, those type of things. I'm like, wow, I just feel so seen and heard and understood. And like, uh, you make me feel human again when sometimes as a mom I end up feeling um, weird. I want to say just weird. You end up feeling very strange as a mom sometimes. Like, I don't know, like something's wrong and my voice is cracking because I'm getting emotional as usual. Um, motherhood is tough and uh, I'm here for it. I love it and I love my son so much that it hurts, but it is tough. Motherhood is not for the weak. Everyone always just asks me, well, you know, what's your favorite thing about being a mom? What is being a mother to you? It is all of the things. It is indescribable. <sighs> Anyways, okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up there. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.